NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Lawrence going to put it up right away. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. Here's second and ten. Looking to throw Lawrence. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Well, they use him a lot out of the backfield. He had five catches a week ago, and he makes another catch here for good yardage. Third play in this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. They'll send Kirk in motion right. Now they show Jet Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the... starting with a first down 11 yards on that pickup he was well over 100 yards last week he told us this week a little ambitious that he wants to hit that 200 mark we'll see makes sense though doesn't it have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue just make sure you feed me the football and that's what they're all about continuity rhythm number of carries just keep giving it to them Right back to him on first down. Pretty much unreal, not just in terms of yardage, Charles, but also throw in the three touchdowns as well. When you put the whole package together, I can make you a pretty good guarantee right now. He's going <laughs> to see that? a few more. And now what's this? They fake the spike. He'll throw it. Shakes off the sack. Rolling to his right. And he will get out of bounds and pick up the first down. So they catch the defense napping, and the fake spike works to move the chains. I haven't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried to run through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. He'll buy some time right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Touchdown, Colts! A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Colts are on the board first here this afternoon. They're going to keep it on the ground. But Charles, kind of the future of the... First and ten, it's Lawrence. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. For Kirk, there's a peek at the numbers in last week's game. Eight catches, 113 yards. Fifth in the league in receiving yards, and that's a strong category. I mean, if you're in the top five in anything, I don't care whether it's football or tiddlywinks, you're having a nice season. On second down, Elliott. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. On third and one, it's Lawrence. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Now Lawrence, and 
his throw is going to be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, Lawrence. And this is going to be incomplete. Shoves him away. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Seems like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled them with the inside run. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And able to get this to the 31. So, Charles, you look at this offense. So what a start to the season. Five wins without a loss. When do you think that you start believing that maybe you're in the midst of something special? Well, you and I both know every head coach never wants that thought to creep into a locker room. But the truth of the matter is, not quite at this time because... Look at the Steelers in 2020. They're a great example. Remember, they started 11-0 then lost five of six and went out in the first round. But I think if you get toward mid-November, the Thanksgiving time frame, and you're still doing this, that's when things start to get real for a ball club. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. They'll try to run this one in. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. A great play there. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. The Lawrence will throw. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Brown. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate, as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. And that nearly intercepted. Oh, the free safety roaming into position, almost had it, but it's second down. They'll look to throw, and hauled in here by Rivera. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Back to
to throw again. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Second and 10. On second down, they'll run it here. They'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. They'll roll him out right. Able to find the open man. That's complete. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great effort there. 33 yards. Start on the ground with Elliott. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And the pressure gets to Lawrence, and he'll go down. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. So now after the sack of Lawrence, the Jags looking at a third and long. They'll set up to throw. Ball oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic. Throwing here on first down. He's going to air one out. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown. A big play there. 76 yards. And the Colts are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at quarterback. And they should feel that way. It's obvious he's a big part of why they have such a good record this season. You're right about the bright future as well. on first down. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. Lawrence. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. A first down carry by Allian. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. 
Now Lawrence to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. And that is incomplete. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan, so... They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. They'll set up a throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Now back to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Klein. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. They'll look to throw here on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Call it a gain of six. second down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred the defense. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now they'll run on the draw. And shedding the tackle, and now some room. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a yard. Now they'll run on the draw. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. 41 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They... And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. As time expires in the first half. And the Colts... They'll start this drive out on the ground. And some room. To, there he goes, left side. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That one good for 33 and a first. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yard? Oh, wide open for a Colts touchdown. A great effort there with touchdown number three here in this game and 17 now on the year. And the Colts come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. They'll try and run it here. And they are just not going to let up as he is into the end zone here for two more. 
Honestly, I'd rather see him kick the extra point there than to go for two, but it almost feels like there's a story within the story here. I mean, this isn't college. You know, size of victory, that matters in those games. Here, all you have to do is win by one point. That's all that you need. Instead, they go for it, get two. Folks on the other sideline now. And now a whistle and a timeout called by the kicking team. They go play action with Lawrence. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. On second down, here's Lawrence. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. He is proving his worth defensively, getting the sack here. That comes after being named the AFC Defensive Player of the Week for his performance in last week's game. He's stacking games together, isn't he? I mean, you just mentioned what he did the previous week to be named AFC Defensive Player of the Week, continuing to play at that level. And when you get that kind of confidence going, those kind of guys are hard to stop. But the passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. start on the ground here on first down a tackle made by Devin Lloyd the linebacker well, these two teams met in Indy earlier in the year with the Colts coming out on top so a win here in Jacksonville would give them the season series off the play fake he'll look to throw touchdown Indianapolis a big play there his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Colts are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. They're going to try and run. I know we can sit up. now Lawrence on first down can't get away and he's taken down the defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack so after the sack a scenario you certainly don't work on too often second and 24 here's Lawrence to throw and that went too far in front he couldn't reel it in it's incomplete these guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Here's Lawrence. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Quick hitter here, it's complete. So five yards here, five on the play, and that'll make it second down. Now they'll audible to something else. Second and five. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to hook up with his big tight end. Complete. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 
99 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Right back to him on first down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Back to throw. Man open left side is Brown. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. A gain of 11 that time, and a Colts first down. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that about him, where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great play there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. They're going to keep it on the ground. as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. Try and get the running game going with Elliott. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Draw play, Elliott. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. We're just looking at the scoreboard and where we're at in the third quarter. I don't know that it's going to matter much at this point, CD, but these small runs on the ground, they're not going to get it done. No, they're not. And right now, the guys stopping the run have been superior in this ball game, giving them no openings, no seam. start this drive out on the ground. They find some open field here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. Now they'll run on the draw. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. And quickly they get to the line. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. A 
six-yard touchdown run. And the Colts add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. They'll try and run it here. So the rushing touchdowns continue to stack up, CD. That now 15 for... First down, Lawrence. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense gotten it, they were already within the shadow of the goalpost. Yeah, and then you're yelling it. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you've got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. The Jaguars on third down. A pretty anemic, a very anemic one for nine thus far. This will be third and forever. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. And the defense coming through on third. Play fake here on first down. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts add another six points to what's going to be a blowout victory. They're going to try and run. And boy, talk about adding insult to injury. He's into the end zone to tack on two more. <laughs> I think this is just going to be a function of the times we live in. Start the drive with Elliott. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw here taken in by Ingram. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now Lawrence. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they... Start on the ground here on first down. Following a big gain, a nice little cherry on top there at the end. 164 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. A gain of 11 that time and a Colts first down. Looking to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. Here's a give up the middle. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 12 more yards there and another first down. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he takes it in for a Colts score. 
five-yard touchdown run. And the Colts extend their lead yet again. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big Throwing to start the drive. Lawrence. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. From the shotgun, a give to Elliott. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. He has just been completely taken out of this game. We're in the fourth quarter. He's single digits in the rushing department. And I know we look at him because the numbers do go to his production. But how about the guys blocking for him? They don't just have his number as a ball carrier. First down, he'll drop to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Colts. A big play there. 68 yards. And the Colts just continue to roll. They're going to keep it on the ground. And they are just not going to let up as he is into the end zone here for two more. I guess when you're hot, you're hot. I mean, I would just go ahead and take the extra. First down, Lawrence. This one caught by Ridley. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. The blitz coming, Lawrence. And his throw is incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. And they're going to speed things up here. Right back to him on first down. And he slips up as he just continues to pummel this defense. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. And yeah, they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, 
Their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And yeah, they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. A gain of 11 that time, and a Colts first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. And they'll go with the ground attack here. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also move the sticks. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. That one looks like he'll throw here. And this is thrown to the sideline. No receiver in the area, though, and that's going to bring out a flag. Yeah, he hadn't gotten far enough away from the pocket to throw that football away, and that draws the flag. Yeah, the old tackle box, right? Get outside of each tackle, and then you can go ahead and throw it away, and you're in good shape. But if you're back there in the pocket, you got to make sure of what you're doing. He can't get him down. He'll get it inside the 20, and he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. A big play that time on the catch and run. 30 yards. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Toward the pylon, caught. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. They'll try and run it here. And boy, talk about adding insult to injury. He's into the end zone to tack on two more. And they're able to... Shot now for Lawrence. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. you realize that both sides of the ball were so dominant in this game and on offense not only did they score it but they did it through the air as well as on the ground everything was working and you know that the guys who scored the touchdowns who contributed that way that threw them or ran them they're going to find our cameras and have a big grin for them but i hope our cameras find that offensive line how versatile were they move the ball on the ground move people so they could run it and then protected their passers so they could throw it so for Indianapolis, they remain as hot as anyone at 6-0.